I always set up, you know, the first thing that I tell students is that they have to make sure that they're getting their brass playing together because, you know, just like you're saying, you're, you're free, you feel more free to improvise on the guitar, you know, because you can see it and you have these more advanced concepts and stuff like that. You know, playing a brass instrument is kind of the same way, but you have to get so comfortable that you can visualize it within the constraints of your instrument, just like you're visualizing it in the constraints of, you know, your guitar. Just assessing from what you're saying that you're not really absorbing like the sound and the understanding of what you're playing on guitar to be able to translate it, you know, like to really have it be inside of you, like to, that you, you know, you hear those as like sounds. They might, they're chords and they might have modal interchange or whatever you're thinking of, but like that you don't know what those sounds are, like emotionally or like you can't feel them. So when you go to the trumpet to try to play them, you're just, you can't play this stuff because you don't have the muscle memory to play it, you know? So you might want to try to translate, just like literally translate stuff that you're working on guitar onto the trumpet, like, and just literally find ways to translate just the shapes or the arpeggios or the lines or whatever it is that you're working on. So that, because you want it to, you don't want to have to think about it, you know? It has to be coming from an aural place, not from a mental place. If you're feeling like limited on the trumpet, I would say you need to be spending more time on the trumpet just connecting, you know, the things that you're hearing on the guitar and connecting them through your brain into the trumpet, you know, and translating that. Taking the stuff that you're transcribing and like practicing improvising by like you so, taking that lick, like if it's say it's the last four bars of the blues, some line that you transcribe, like just kind of copying and pasting it into that spot of the blues, and then in each chorus, you're trying to improvise like leading up to that lick and then leading out of that lick into the next chorus, and then finding another way to go into and out of those licks. Because I find a lot of times we'll take a lick, you know, and play it through 12 keys or a line or whatever, and then all of a sudden, we don't really know what to do with it. We just know how to play it, you know? So you're definitely ahead of the game, you know, mentally and understanding-wise. You just, you're having tr trouble with translating to the trumpet. You just got to spend more time translating it to the trumpet. My advice would be to just, you know, stick at it. And, and be patient because the you know the brass playing stuff takes longer I think than the guitar only because of you know like you're saying you can just move it up the shape up or the shape down sure uh, show up on time and be there early, you know be there early you don't want the band leader to have to worry about if you're gonna show up or not um, wear the right clothes that's always, uh, sometimes some people never get it together and wear the right clothes. And uh, make sure you're like prepared with the music. You know, I know those things seem obvious. They seem super obvious, but sometimes people don't ever get it. You want to be a, an asset to the band leader, not a liability, you know?